we have seen in kinematics of fluid flow, different types of fluid as well as we have seen mathematical model to study kinematics of fluid flow. Along with that we have seen all the types of fluids. So combining all the knowledge we have studied, we will see few practical examples and uh, we will try to study few practical examples that is uniform flow along y direction. Potential flow along y direction. So, we will consider a uniform potential flow along y direction which is parallel to y axis. So, this is uniform potential flow which is parallel to y axis. So, let us consider this part which is traveling in positive y direction as capital U. So, now we know that what is u equals to that is equals to square root of u square plus v square. So this can be written as u is equals to square root of u square plus v square but over here u tends to 0. So why u tends to 0 because small u is along positive x axis but small v is not equals to 0 because it is traveling along positive y axis. So now over here u can be written as plus minus plus minus v. So now v can be according to definition of streamline function and a uniform um, v can be written in the form of uniform potential function or Constant, uh, we can be written as in the form of streamline function as minus of d5 rho 5 by 2x and it can be written as in the form of velocity potential function as do 5 by do y. So now since your capital U is equals to V. So this can be written as U equals to minus of do phi by do x and equals to do phi by do y. So now let us consider these two equations along those respective directions and over here along the other side small u is equals to 0. Now if small u is equals to 0 this can be written as minus do phi by do x which is equals to minus do psi by do y. So since u is tending to 0 then phi is not a function of x as well as no, not a function of y and phi is not a function of x. So let us solve this equation. Let us where u is equals to minus do psi by do x. So now since psi is a function of x only and psi is not a function of y, you can write u is equals to minus minus of d psi by dx. So now let us cross multiply. So this is minus of d psi is equals to u into dx. Let us integrate along an entire path. So minus d psi or rather we will take this minus sign on the other side. So this will be positive, this will be negative. So this will be minus of ux plus c. So you have got psi is equals to minus ux plus c. Let us consider this as c1. When psi is equals to 0, x is equals to 0, 
value of c1 also tends to 0. So the ultimate equation over here is psi is equals to minus u into x. Similarly, along u is equals to that is do phi by do y. So since phi is just a function of y, it is not a function of x, then capital U can be written as do phi or sorry d phi by dy. So if you cross multiply this, this is d phi integral is equals to integral of u dy. So if you integrate this part, then phi will be equals to uy plus c2. So when y is equals to 0, we'll get this phi is equals to 0. Similarly, c2 is equals to 0. So hence over here, phi will be equals to u times y. And psi will be equals to minus of minus of x times minus of u times x. Now let us plot this graph along x axis and y axis. So now you have two equations over here that is psi is equals to minus u x and phi is equals to u times y. So this is x and value of psi that is 0 0 if it is x is equals to 1 psi is equals to minus u if x is equals to 2 this is minus 2u and x is equals to 3 this is minus 3u similarly if y has a corresponding value of 0 then phi is equals to 0 Similarly, if phi is equals to 1, then this is equals to capital U, and phi is equals to 2, this is equals to 2U, so on and so forth. Now, let us plot the graph that is x axis versus y axis for uniform potential function as well as streamlined functions. So now x takes the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this are this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means your uniform streamline function is parallel to y axis. So it will be drawn as psi 1, this is psi 2, this is psi 3, then psi 4 as well as psi 5. So these are psi 1 psi 2, psi 3, psi 4 and psi 5. Similarly, the <coughs> uniform potential functions are parallel to x-axis. It will have a value of y equals to 0, y equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. So this is equals to, this is phi 1 is equals to u, then this is phi 2. 2 is equals to 2u, phi 3 is equals to 3u, so on and so forth. All the lines are parallel to each other and it is called as and are parallel to each other. So we have seen over here that is psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 are parallel to y axis phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 is parallel to x axis note that your constant streamlines and uniform potential lines are both perpendicular to each other and this entire part forms called as a flow net in which these lines are traveling in the downward direction since it is minus u so this will be going downwards and these lines since they are positive are going towards right.
so i hope you have understood what is uniform potential flow along x axis or it is parallel to x axis and uniform potential flow which is parallel to your y axis thank you